Lupus, or to give it its full name, systemic lupus erythematosus, is the archetypal autoimmune condition. What do I mean by that? Your immune system is there to protect you from infection, and if you have an infection, your immune system wakes up, makes antibodies against the germ, kills the germ, and then your immune system goes to sleep again. In lupus, for reasons we don't really understand, your immune system is triggered and starts producing antibodies. These antibodies are not against the germ or the bacteria, they're against uh, tissues in your body. So these antibodies we know can cause all the symptoms of lupus, like skin rashes, mouth ulcers, heart problems and kidney problems. What the cause of lupus is, is entirely unknown. Uh, we know there are certain environmental factors that can trigger lupus. For example, sunlight can trigger lupus and can cause flares of lupus. Smoking can trigger lupus. And genetics. Um, genetics is well recognised to be an, a, a, an increased risk um, for lupus. Drugs. Uh, Drug-induced lupus is also a well recognised cause of lupus. And drug-induced lupus is the only curable cause of lupus. In general, if you stop the drug that you know is causing the lupus, normally the, the lupus settles down. Lupus is a condition that is primarily uh, affects young women uh, in their 20s to 40s, in other words, the childbearing age. It's nine times more common in women than it is in men. And lupus is more common in certain uh, ethnic races, for example, women of African ancestry or Asian ancestry. So that just reinforces the concept that there is a genetic and ethnic component uh, to lupus. Lupus takes time to diagnose, mainly because the initial symptoms are quite vague and non-specific, and often patients have a number of visits to their GP or their primary care physicians before the diagnosis of lupus is, is established. Uh, this is one of the unmet needs in our world of lupus. How do we uh, diagnose patients with lupus earlier? And this is quite a difficult challenge.